Hello Aquarius and welcome to your February reading. Please come and join me this evening. I've got a premiere out and it's all about love. It's love readings for every star sign. It's my first premiere and uh, it would be lovely if you can join me. It's at eight o'clock Greenwich Mean Time and uh, I'd love to see you there. Wow. Aquarius, you've got some lovely cards here for February. Look at these already. Absolutely brilliant. The Seven of Cups and the Ten of Cups. I'll put a link in the description box below to my sister's YouTube channel, Anything Spiritual. So Aquarius, when you've finished watching uh, my videos, why don't you go look at hers as well? And don't forget to check out your year aheads. Okay, let's start with your February reading. So you've got the Seven of Cups here. So this is saying, you can see this man here looking at all these cups and each cup has got a different thing in it. So this is saying you've been looking at your life You've been looking at what is important to you. Cups are about your emotions, about love and feelings. So at the for the last few weeks, you've been looking at what fulfills you in life. What is it that you want in your life? What is it that you don't want in your life? What is it that you need to pursue more of to make you happy? So Aquarius, this is all about your own inner desires, your own feelings. And sevens are also about reevaluating. So you have certainly been reevaluating what is important to you in 2024. Now I say that because obviously we're in February now, so this could be part of a new year resolution for you. You could have said at the beginning of this year, out with the old, in with the new. I'm going to make 2024 all about me and pleasing me and making me happy and not living my life, just making other people happy. And Aquarius, that's what we should all be doing. Yes, it's nice to keep other people happy and compromise, but you can't live your life solely making other people happy. You have to make yourself happy too. You have to fulfill your own heart's desires. And look at February. It's the Ten of Cups. This is an absolutely amazing card to have. It's such happiness, celebrations. You can see this happy family here. This card is also known as the marriage card or the wedding card. So some of you could be getting married in February. Others could be planning a wedding or have been proposed to. But it's about complete happiness, complete fulfilment. So something in February fills your heart with desire. It makes you happy. So it's an absolutely wonderful card to have for February. I feel like shuffling these cards and pulling another one on top of that just to see Aquarius because you've got two wonderful cards there. What is this all about? And it's the King of Wands. So if the King of Wands is representing a person, then it represents somebody with a spring birthday, March, April, May time. But definitely here, it's you taking control of your life, you saying, I'm looking at what is going to make me important. And look at the new shoots here. So you've got this new enthusiasm and this new passion to make sure that you are fulfilling your life with what makes you happy. And you're looking at new things, doing different things, bringing in new things that is going to make you happy. And again, what is your hopes? And it's the page of wands. So it's hearing good news, 
offers, something coming in with these new shoots, this new beginning. And it's this just this new excitement about life, this new passion. And I feel healing looking at that green. So I definitely feel, Aquarius, that you've done any kind of mental healing from the past and you're ready, you feel ready to move forward in life and say, it's all about me. I'm going to do what makes me happy. You know, I, I'm not setting out to hurt anybody else. I don't want to hurt anybody, but I can't live my life by just solely pleasing others. I have to do what's going to make me happy as well. So it's learning about yourself, learning about standing up for yourself and seeing yourself as important, just as important as others, Aquarius. And my advice to you is when it comes to making decisions is to search within. It's OK to ask people for advice and saying, what would you do? What would you do? But the problem is, again, you're you're t doing things by what other people would do. They might say, well, if that was me, I would do this. But you need to search within Aquarius when it comes to making decisions, particularly about the changes that's going to happen in your life, because you've got all this water behind you, which is about movement. It's about emotions. So when you're making decisions that are about your feelings, that are about changes that's going to infect your life, it's got to, the answer has got to come from within you it cannot come from somebody else so you know listen to other people's advice take you know but don't just do what somebody else tells you to do just make sure that you follow what is important to you because you really need to search within follow your gut instincts follow what's your dreams are telling you we've got the moon there. So, you know, what are you dreaming about? What are you thinking about at night? What's in your subconscious? What is your inner self telling you? And we've got the hanged man look as your outcome card. Well, the hanged man, he's looking at things from a different perspective look. You can see him. He's got he's not um distraught by hanging upside down, and he's not because when he's looking at things from a different perspective, he's getting different ideas. He's got this light bulb around his head. And he's saying, when you do different things, when you go to different places, when you speak to different people, when you open up your horizons, when you take a step back and you start looking at things from a different point of view, when you open your world up, you start having different ideas meeting different people, seeing different things, and it gives you a new insight. And this is what your future is telling you, Aquarius, by making these changes, by opening your world up, by looking at things differently, you're going to have a different way of thinking. You're going to have new, fresh, brilliant ideas that's going to help you move forward. So it's all really, really good. So it's about opening your world up following what makes you happy, doing what makes you happy, putting yourself first and new ideas will brighten your world. Message of guidance. So again, the message of guidance, it's about going within. It's about trusting yourself, Aquarius, that you do have the answers inside you. You know, you can take advice from other people, but only you know how you really feel inside. So the message of guidance is to trust your inner self. Trust what your intuition is telling you, because that's coming from within. And you do have the power to guide yourself just by following how you feel and the ideas that come into your head. Just take that time sitting in the silence, sitting alone and seeing what ideas come into your head. <laughs> 